So since I was born, my mom never wanted me around. She always had me bouncing from one friend to another friend's house. I moved back into my mom's house after she had her youngest son. Being the oldest one, she wanted me to take care of my younger siblings. I felt overwhelmed and pressured because I was only 10 years old at the time. Once I graduated from elementary school, I was excited to go to middle school, but instead, my mom decided to send me to Dominican Republic. When she sent me to Dominican Republic, she left me to my grandparents. She decided that I would come back when I was around 16 years old to try to have a good relationship with me. Everything worked out for a couple of months until I found out I was pregnant. And it was a shocker for me as well as my mom and that ruined the relationship we was trying to build in the first place. After I had the baby, my relationship with my mother reminded me when I was 10 years old because I had to stay home and not only take care of my siblings, but as well as my child. So it was more complicated than it was before. When I finally decided to go back to school, it was even worse relationship with her because she wanted me to stay home all the time and didn't actually want me to advance in my education. So after that, she decided to kick me out of the house. I started looking into shelters with my guidance counselor from school, and I finally found out one of the shelters I could go into with my son. The shelter was called Covenant House, so I would have to get up early in the morning at 6 o'clock to get myself ready, to get the baby ready, to then drop him off at daycare to then start my navigation to school. After school at 2.30, I would go into my internship until 8 o'clock and get back home around 9 to pick up my son, to get myself ready for the next day, do homework, get him ready, and then start all over again the next day. In June, before my graduation, I got a call from my guidance counselor telling me that I was valedictorian. And I had literally jumped out of my bed to go tell everybody else about the good news. Accomplishing that was like a lot of feelings mixed together. I always believe that hard work pays off, but it was just something unimaginable. My speech was mainly about how even when things get hard, you should never give up. No matter how hard things get or how many obstacles come in your way, you should always try to achieve your goals. Having my son there made me feel like I had accomplished something really good for myself and for him. It was so cute the way I saw him jumping up and down once I finished and everybody was clapping. It filled me up with joy. Oh my god, we totally jumped off the cliff and had to swim all the way to shore because the dog chased us all the way to the end. Oh!